So then the guy says, don't worry, I'm already wearing brown socks. <laughs> uh, that's great. Okay. Can we read the next set of cues, please? Uh, yes, certainly. Let me just get down into range. You do sound a little deranged. Welcome. 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 Getting there. <clears throat> One more time. Welcome. A little too low. Welcome. Split the difference. Welcome. <sighs> Let's just roll. Welcome to the Fanshawe College 2021 Music Industry Arts and Audio Post-Production Awards Show. So what's it like being an engineer anyway? Oh, it's great. You get to work with a ton of talented people. Oh, that sounds fantastic. You know, my son's here with me today. Uh, he, you think you could put a good word in with the MIA people? I don't know about that. Maybe we could continue recording these uh, cues? No, that's okay. Go ahead, Henry. Play him a little something. Let's get back to work, please. Ah, uh, okay. No problem. <clears throat> Best Engineer Award, first year. This award has been established to recognize a year one student from the Music Industry Arts Program who demonstrates excellence in audio engineering. The award is based on the first year lift project and the prize is $250. And the nominees are... And the winners are... Hey, this is John Beetle Bailey here, and I just want to give a personal congratulations to both Carmina and Eric on your engineering awards this year. Um, I think this is the first time I've ever heard that they've had a tie at MIA, so congratulations to both of you, and especially during a really difficult year, and uh, really super stoked for both of you, so congratulations. Say, it's awfully dry in here, friend. Do you think you could help me with that? Sure, one second. Uh, oh, yes, that's much better. Thank you. Best Engineer Award, second year. This award has been established to recognize a year two student from the Music Industry Arts Program who demonstrates excellence in audio engineering and is based on a year's worth of work. The prize is $250. And the nominees are... And the winner is... Hey, Maxime, uh, George Sierra here. Uh, just wishing you congrats on your Best Engineer Second Year Award. Uh, it's no small feat. I'm sure there's a lot of tremendous talent there. And uh, just wanted to wish you all the very best. All right, let's see here. What's next? Best Audio and Video Award. Let's see. This award has been established. Ba -ba 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 -ba. $250. All three nominees will receive a Futz box. What's a Futz box? Is that this thing right here? Oh, let Don't me play, play with that. that a little. No. Oh, my goodness. Turn, listen turn to me. Turn That's fantastic. Oh, oh, my goodness. Now I sound like I'm outside. Yeah, okay. And now I'm in the club. Come oh, on. now I'm in your speaker know. over here. Listen let's to me. Best Audio and Video Award. This award has been established to recognize a year two student from the Music Industry Arts Program who demonstrates excellence in producing sound for picture based on their video term project. The prize is $250. All three nominees will receive Futzbox, SA2, and the 6060 Ultimate Module Collection donated by McDSP. And the nominees are... And the winner is... Let's see what's next. For the Jack Richardson. Jack Richardson, rock and roll spirit. My goodness. Did you know that I had the good fortune to audition for Jack one time? You don't say. He told me that I play like I talk. Too many notes. <laughs> Still not quite sure what he meant by that. Okay. Anyway. <clears throat> the Jack Richardson Rock and Roll Spirit Award. This award has been established to recognize a year two music industry arts student who embodies the spirit of rock and roll. The prize is $450. And the winner is... Eric Garthier. Just want to let you know that you are the winner of the Jack Richardson Rock and Roll Spirit Award. Congratulations, keep up the great work. You rock and you roll. Maybe a little bit of EDM, but more rock. Peace.
Load up on guys. Bring your friends. It's fine and all hey. to pretend. Let's go. Oh, terribly sorry. <clears throat> Music Industry Arts Spirit Award. This award has been established to recognize a first or second year student from the Music Industry Arts program who demonstrates cultural and social contributions to the program, including showing initiative to begin and manage new events and demonstrates excellent communication and networking skills. The prize is $250. And the winner is... Oh, uh, what's next? Uh, the Terry McManus Music Industry Arts Business Award. Did you know that Terry gave me the sage advice one time to always say yes and then figure out how? You don't say. The very next question I was asked was, would I like to be a voiceover artist? Now figure out how. Oh, uh, what's that? Nothing. Let's uh, go. Yes, of course. Um, <clears throat> the Terry McManus Music Industry Arts Business Award. This award has been established to recognize a student from the Music Industry Arts program, first or second year, who is highly motivated to be successful in the business aspects of the industry and who demonstrates leadership. The prize is $400. And the winner is... Hi, this is Terry McManus, and I'd like to congratulate Michaela Fox on winning the Terry McManus Business Award. Michaela, it's a great time to be in the business uh, and uh, lots of talent out there that needs lots of direction. So good luck and have a long and happy career. What's next? The Slate Communications Inc. Music Industry Arts Artist of the Year Award. Shall I Don't say it. slate this one? Oh my <laughs> God. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. The Slate Communications, Inc. Music Industry Arts Artist of the Year Award. This award has been established to recognize a music industry art student who demonstrates excellence in the artist development process, including recording, performing, promoting, and developing their brand. The prize is $250. And the nominees are... And the winner is... The Sony ATV and Songwriter Association of Canada First Year Songwriter Award. This award has been established to recognize a year one music industry arts student who demonstrates the best songwriting. Skill, form, lyric, melody, and impact are all considered. The prize is a pair of Sony headphones and a one year membership in the Songwriters Association of Canada. And the nominees are... And the winner is... It gives me great pleasure to present the first year songwriting award to Chase Islam. Congratulations. Say, friend, you're not just an engineer, you're also a producer, right? Yeah. Well, what does a producer do? Uh, most days we make lemonade from lemons. Ah, well, I do like lemonade. I'm not sure how I like being compared to a lemon. No, this is more like making loser juice. Uh, what's that? Nothing. Let's go. Uh, yes, of course. Best producer, first year. This award was established to recognize a year one student in the music industry arts program who demonstrates excellence in music production and is based on the final production assignment. The award is $250. And the nominees are... And the winner is... Yo, I just got the results in. That's for you. Look at this. Who could it be? Josh! The first year producer of the year award goes to Josh. That's Awesome! Arnold Lanny, Producer of the Year Award. This award has been established to recognize a year two music industry art student who demonstrates excellence in music production. It is based on a year's worth of work. The prize is $250. And the nominees are... And the winner is... Hi everybody, my name is Arnold Lanny and it's my honor and privilege to be involved with the Producer of the Year Award. 
I thought we'd keep it low-tech and indie-like, especially after the year we've all had. And I thought we'd do it in my uh, studio here, where all of you are going to be spending most of your time. Places like this, where we've got lots of faders, shining lights, computers, and all sorts of musical goodies. Um, you know, when I was a kid, I thought the industry would be exciting. But, uh, you know, after you edit a vocal for two days, I don't know if exciting is the word I'd use. But it's always fun, and it's challenging, and I've had the absolute best life. And I'm humbled to be able to give this award this year, the Arnold Lanny Producer of the Year, to Matt Bala. Matt, congratulations. Well done. Sony ATV Vocalist of the Year Award. My goodness, I should be up for this award. Luck be a lady tonight. Luck be a lady if there's ever been a lucky lady. Dude, be professional. Sure. Do you mind? Please, come on. Sony ATV Vocalist of the Year Award. This award has been established to recognize a student from music industry arts or audio post production who demonstrates excellence in vocal performance. And the nominees are. And the winner is... And the winner is, for the folk list of the year, Live More. Congratulations from Sony Music Publishing. We're rolling. All right, let's see what's next. Ah, yes, the EMAC Studio Band of the Year. EMAC, yes. Electromagnetic Acoustic Crunch Studio, mm, right? No. No, that's not no, that. Right. E Major at Chorus Studios, right? No, that's no, no. Okay. E equals M A C squared. Dude. Uh, no, that's it's not a math equation either. Oh, okay. Jeez. Electronic Media uh, Arts Corporation. Uh, anyway, fantastic facility. EMAC Studio Band of the Year Award. This award was established to recognize a band from the music industry arts or audio post-production program who demonstrate the best performance. The prize is eight hours recording time at Emac Studios. And the nominees are... And the winner is... Hey, this is Devin from Half Moon Run, and this year's winner of Band of the Year is... In a bag. Congratulations. Slate Communications Inc. MIA Artist Development Award. This award honors a student from Music Industry Arts who demonstrates excellence in developing their own artistry or developing other artists. The prize is $250. And the winners are... I see you've got a grand piano over there. You mind if I show you one of my instrumental tracks? I prefer we didn't. If we uh, could it doesn't just matter keep... what you're saying. I already took my headphones off. You are the worst. Here we go. Get ready. What? What do you think? I think you're playing a melody in the tenor section. I, I, I think you... Did you play that last note with your big toe? I didn't hear anything you just said. I just put my headphones back on. I said we should get back to work. Okay, sounds good. Here we go. Instrumentalist of the Year. This award honors a year two student from Music Industry Arts who demonstrates excellence in instrumental performance. The prize is $250. And the nominees are... And the winners are... Hey, Fanshawe, MIA. Trevor Morris here, graduate. 1988-ish. Um, I graduated MIA and I moved to LA to pursue my dreams of being a film and TV composer. I've had some mild success. I don't really know. I mean, you know, just the normal kind of working man kind of kind of stuff, but uh, it's working out okay for me, but no, I'm just kidding. Uh, hey, Nathan and Mitchell, you guys, congratulations on winning Instrumentalist of the Year 
for our esteemed program. That's a cool thing. I won Engineer of the Year way back in the olden days when I was there, uh, and it's pretty cool. So I just want to say congratulations from one graduate to another, and cheers from California. Okay, you want a slate that's... Uh, uh, just do the spot. Okay. The Slate Communications, Inc. Jan Green Award. This award is given to recognize a female student in year two of MIA who embodies the qualities of our former professor and coordinator, Jan Green. The prize is $250 from Slate Music. And the winner is... Hi everyone, I'm Dondrea Ira. I am a music supervisor and an MIA grad from 2011. I just wanted to congratulate Roxanne Andragetti for winning the Jan Green Award. Congratulations. Sony Music Publishing Pop Song Award. This award is based on the pop song assignment and is voted on by Sony Publishing President Gary Furness. The prize is a face-to-face -face meeting with Sony Publishing. And the winners are... And the winner of the Pop Song of the Year Award goes to Forget About Me, Dylan, JP, Oliver, and Andres. Congratulations. Great song. All right, what's next? Best audio and picture? Oh, I was born for this. Here we go. <clears throat> in a time. No, it's present day. In a universe. A mm, little smaller. In a country. Canada. In a province. Ontario. In a city. Okay, London. In a college. Fanshaw. In a program. In music industry arts. In a classroom. Will you just read the cue? Best audio and picture. This award recognizes an audio post-production student who consistently produced high-quality audio in their assignments. This award is sponsored by McDSP, and the winner receives a copy of Futzbox SA2 and the 6060 Ultimate Module Collection. And the nominees are... And the winner is... Hey, Patrick Dalsin, congratulations. You have won the award for best audio for picture. That's tremendous and fantastic. And hey, your mad skills have blown the socks off of a bunch of people. And what a great way to start your career in audio post-production. And speaking from my experience, the further you get into this field, the more you'll end up running into people from MIA. And it's literally an instant bridge and like a, like a family, like a bond. And not only that, you'll still be friends with people in the program now who'll go up their different career ladders and you'll all sort of work in parallel or even maybe end up working with each other. So embrace this time that you had and get ready because it's going to be fun and I wish you all the best and great success. And maybe I'll see you around. Anyway, congratulations. Tail Slate. All right, so what's the direction for this next read? We want it to sound younger. Younger, eh? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Audio Post-Production Leadership Award. How's that? That's incredible. What a remarkable talent. Thank, Thank you. Hey. <laughs> Audio Post-Production Leadership Award. This award recognizes the APP student who displays exceptional leadership in a collaborative environment, ensuring their teams are performing to the highest standards. <laughs> <laughs> the winner receives Futzbox SA2 and the 6060 Ultimate Module Collection donated by Mick D. S. P. <laughs> And the winner is... Congratulations, Lucas. You know, it doesn't seem that long ago that I was in your position in MIA, but then I did the math because I had to do the math because it wasn't easy to calculate, but it's been 28 years since I was in your position getting MIA awards just before being flung out into the real world. And when I mean flung out into the real world, I was on a plane to Los Angeles. So, but that was a long time ago. And to be honest with you, it doesn't seem 
like yesterday. It seems like a really long time ago. It just seems like a different lifetime. But I think there's some principles that are very similar and still apply today as they did back then. Um, and this award represents a lot of that because it's about attitude. And having the right attitude has opened more doors for me in my career than any other attribute that I have. So you are on a good path. And I, my prediction is that this is not the last award that you will win in your lifetime. So let's hope there's many more. And for everyone else, this is a start of great things. So um, best of luck and uh, we'll see you out there. Best Audio in Games. This award is given to the audio post-production student with the best overall sound design and implementation of game audio. The prize is a copy of Weaponizer fully loaded, donated by Krotos Audio, as well as Futzbox, SA2, and the 6060 Ultimate Module Collection, donated by McDSP. And the nominees are... And the winner is... Hi, this is Sam Clark, Senior Sound Designer at Beanox Games and Fanshawe Audio Postgrad of 2015. I'd like to congratulate Jeff for Best Audio in Games this year for his work in sound design and implementation. You can do it, Frogger! Make it across Hello. that busy highway! Oh, We're ready. oh my goodness! Oh! Frogger, no! Dude, stop playing video games. Let's go. Come on. What are you doing? Let's go. Sorry, what? We're recording. Yeah, what are you doing? Let's go. <sighs> Best Sound Design in Games. This award is given to the audio post-production student with the most creative sound design in their game project. This award is sponsored by Krotos Audio and McDSP. The first place winner gets a copy of Dehumanizer 2, and the second place winner gets a copy of Simple Monsters. Both winners also receive Futzbox and SA2 and the 6060 Ultimate Module Collection. And the nominees are... And the winners are... Sound design is perhaps one of the most fun and creative parts of making video games. I'd like to congratulate Logan and Jonas on their work this year. The M. Griner and Chris Hadfield, the astronaut? Yep, the astronaut. Wow. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. I could do that. My professors always told me I was a bit of a space cadet. I'm not sure that's what they meant. The M. Griner and Chris Hadfield Music Industry Arts Award. This award has been established to recognize a full-time student in the Music Industry Arts program who demonstrates a keen interest inside and outside the classroom in the creative and technical aspects of the music industry. The prize is $1,000. And the winner is... Hi, Jesse. Congratulations on this award. I'm so excited for you. Um, MIA is so close to my heart. I have such fond memories of it. I have done so many wonderful things with my MIA grad friends. And now I'm so jazzed that you get to walk away with this amazing award. I'm very honored to um, have my name on this award with Chris. And we had that amazing experience of making Space Oddity in space. And when it came time for me to put that song together with Chris, I called on an MIA grad. And that means that you are gonna have that same amazing uh, chance to work with the people who are around you for years and years and years. So congratulations. And as David Bowie called him, here's the Astro Man. Thanks, Sam. Uh, huge congratulations to Jesse Grant for continuing to innovate under what have been really trying circumstances for artists all around the world. You know, my little band that I've been practicing with, it's just been so tough, you know, with the time lag and the technology enabling, but also in the way. It's it's difficult just to be spontaneously creative and productive in times like these. And so I think we especially now need to not only uh, honor, but, but recognize those of us who are doing it so well. Congratulations, Jesse. Back to you.
the Jack and Shirley Richardson Award. This award has been established to recognize a year two student from the MIA program who demonstrates commitment and dedication to excellence in all areas of the program. The prize is $1,000 and the winner is This is a big shout out to Mr. Andrew Wen. Congratulations, you just won the Jack and Shirley Award for being cool, you rock, way to go. I'm proud of you. Keep it up, out. The Antonio Lanny Songwriter of the Year Scholarship. This award has been established to recognize a student from the Music Industry Arts Program who is currently enrolled in year two and demonstrates the most potential for success as a songwriter based on a single song submission. The prize is $1,000. And the nominees are... And the winner is... Hi everybody, I'm Arnold Lanny, and I'm just outside the hallway in my home studio sitting next to a very important piano. Now, if you look at this, it's not anything fancy. I don't even think it's in tune anymore, but for me, even though it's worthless, it's irreplaceable. And the reason why it means so much to me, it's for the same reason I'm actually talking to you, is I'm here to present the Antonio Lanny Songwriting Award. And the reason why I wanted to talk about this piano is because my dad, who was not a musician, could not sing. I don't think he had any musical ability, although I was just a kid, I didn't know. He loved music so much. And um, after he emigrated from Italy to Canada and spent a lot of years doing backbreaking work with the first extra bit of money he wanted to buy himself a piano. That's what he always wanted. He grew up poor, destitute, no money, no food. So when he finally had a little bit of success in the new country, he, I remember dragging the whole family down and we'd be walking into the store and he bought this piano. And he would play this piano every night after dinner. And that was his way of just de-stressing. And it sounded horrible. He would play with, with two hands and out of tune. But the smile on his face, and he'd, he'd say, sing, sing. And I'm going, uh, no, I don't even know what you're, I don't even know what key you're in. Not that I even knew what a key was in those days. Sadly, in 1970, he passed away when I was 14. And um, it was a very confusing time in my life. And um, I'd come home from school and we'd have dinner and I missed hearing the piano. So I started to play it. So this is the piano that launched my whole career. I learned how to play the piano. I taught myself about music on this piano. I spent hours playing it. And I think a lot of it was, firstly, that I loved the sound of it is a way of connecting with my dad, and music has that power. And so I wanted to honor him and how important he was in my life by helping a young student in their career. So I want to present this year's Antonio Lanny Songwriting Award to Evan Burrison. Congratulations. My dad would have been proud of you. Well done.